Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of our tutorial, how to mine sphere. In the fourth part of our tutorial, we're going to be showing you our own app, the reason why we were actually able to do all these tutorials. As all of you know, MindSphere is a cloud-based open IoT operating system that connects products, plants or systems and helps you to collect data in order to analyze it or display it later. Well, first of all, this is our plant, the Alpha. It is basically an automated relay factory and it's the place from where we have been taking data to store it in the Mindsphere Cloud in order to display it later on our app. We chose a really simple use case, but it helps perfectly to give an idea of all the different applications that the Mindsphere could have. In our app, we're going to be analyzing the power consumption from the alpha. We have been storing on the Mindsphere the current, the voltage and the power data from the main three lines that power our plant. And with that, we made this. First of all, we have the real-time tab, where we can see the last 15 minutes of the current, the voltage and the power from every line, and it updates every 5 seconds. We also incorporated a really basic statistics button, which will display the average, uh, the max value, the minimum value from every line. Also, if you locate the cursor on the graph, you can see what value it has where the cursor is and the time. We also can remove lines if we only want to see a specific one. And on the bottom right corner we have the power factor in percentage for each line in real time. If it's over 95% it's a good value and the graph will turn green. We have seen the real-time tab, which is really good because of course knowing the real-time value of a variable is very useful, but if we consider it from a data analysis point of view, then 15 minutes of information is, well, not that useful, it's simply not enough. That's why we have also incorporated an historical function for the current, the voltage, the power consumption and also for the power factor, where you can select what period of time you want to see. Let's say you want to see a week, a month or a year. Just select it, click on update and the app will display it on the graph. This graph also has a zoom in zoom out function in case you want to see something more in detail. Here we have also incorporated the small statistics uh, table which works with the whole period of time that you select. Now well, if you're already seeing one week of information, or a month, or a year, that's already much better than 50 minutes for data analysis. But uh, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if you could export this data to an uh, Excel sheet? That's why we have also incorporated here the download CSV button, which lets you export uh, your information in a really practical way. We have also added a map function. Let's imagine for a minute that you have a huge enterprise with a lot of plants all over the world or all over the country. Then with this function you could be able to change between the locations of your plants and their different variables. That was the fourth part of our tutorial How to Mindsphere, the Outfab app. We hope that this video was of any help for you and thank you very much for watching.